everyone! Today we are doing a book review and my name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and today we are talking about this book by Lisa Barr, brand new, came out June 4th, The Unbreakables. Oh, look at that cover. Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. This is the first book that I have read of hers and I loved it. Loved it more than I even anticipated, okay? At first I was like, oh, this will be a cute little women's fiction, a little lighthearted, and oh, it is so much more than that. So much more, okay? 352 pages, women's fiction. It ha it's under all kinds of categories on Amazon, friendship fiction, divorce fiction, all kinds of things. But anyway, before I tell you what I think about it, up on your screen, we are going to let Pam Jenoff tell us about this book. Readers will delight in this effervescent cocktail of second chances, female strength, mother-daughter bonding, and the truths that set us free. Smart, sure, and sexy. The Unbreakables is unforgettable. Yes, Pam. And first of all, I love Pam so much. She is like one of my all-time favorite authors. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, if Pam is saying that, can you imagine? And she tells it straight up, okay? I'm like, she does not lie. Let's just start at the very beginning. Lisa hits us right first chapter, okay? Main character, Sophie. Sophie Bloom, it is her 42nd birthday party. She is surrounded by all her, her two best friends, their husbands, her husband, they go way back to high school. Everybody's knows each other like brothers and sisters, okay? And then one of Sophie Bloom's friends, husband, who I'm like trying to think of the name of, but it doesn't matter, who cares, says that for her birthday, they are going to read off the list of, and, and I remember this day, okay? The, the list of Ashley Madison. Do you guys remember this? A couple of years ago, um, the list of people who use the website Ashley Madison got released. Okay. And, and they like did it by territory. So he's like, let's look up our zip code. Let's see who has used Ashley Madison. Now for you, those of you who are out there saying, what was that? What is Ashley Madison? Well, it's a website you could go on if you were married and you could hook up with other married people. And it was all like very secretive, except for I used to think that what if you went on there and saw that your husband or boyfriend or next door neighbor, if they hooked you up. I don't, I don't even know how it works because I never went on it. But anyway, so they start reading the names and then they're like, oh, and they stop. And she's like, what? What? Who is it? Her husband gave 43 times. We learned this all in the first chapter, okay? So, what? Okay? So, up on your screen, you're gonna see the last line of the first chapter. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> and I love that, Lisa. I was like, oh my gosh, here we go. This is just one of those stories where you're like, what is she gonna do, right? Is she gonna forgive them? They have one daughter, her name is Ava. And throughout the whole book, I'm thinking, okay, well, Lisa could go one of two ways. She's either going to forgive Gabe or she's not going to forgive Gabe. Okay? That's, that's it. There's only two solutions, right? And the whole time I'm like, okay, every chapter I'm like, she's going to forgive Gabe. She's not going to forgive Gabe. She's going to forgive Gabe. I'm not telling you. Okay? Not going to happen. <laughs> So you have to read the book and that's why I'm doing the video. So real quick cons. My only con, and you guys know I never have cons. My only con is that the end happened so quick and I wanted more ending because I love the way she did it. And I was like, oh, I wish we would have gotten like one more chapter of the ending. But you know what? Three, she did it in 350 pages. Okay. What am I asking for? Right? You're like, really? You want it in 350 pages and then you want a longer ending. It sounds contradictory, but you know, I just loved it so much. I wanted another chapter. Uh, <laughs> that's it. it. There is tons of sexual content, but that does not, it, it, this story, it did not deter me. And I can be sensitive about sexual content where I'm like, oh, that's just not necessary, not necessary. It didn't happen. Okay. I, I wouldn't even want to skip it because it was a huge part of this story. So um, yes, if it if you don't like it, then don't read the book. 
I mean, there isn't like tons, but it's pertinent to the story. I love the way she did it. I wouldn't want it out. Take that for what it's worth. <laughs> that's, that's my advice, okay? But the pros, oh my God, Lisa, my pros for you are these relationships, friendship relationships, the husband, wife, the mom and daughter, the dad and daughter, okay? What I loved what you did with Gabe <laughs> because I was driving. Now I have the book, okay, right here. But I also, just to tell you how much I could not put this book down, I got this book for free, okay? She's a tall poppy writer and I can usually get their books. I got this book, right? But I was reading it and then I had to go drive and I'm like, I don't wanna put the book down. I bought the audio. That's how good this book is. I didn't want to wait to get home. And I'm like, oh, I'll just buy the audio. I bought the audio. Do you understand? Okay. Free book, bought the audio. So anyway, <laughs> that's because I couldn't get away from it. I could not get away from it. So anyway, back to what I was saying, the character development. So it, when she's describing Gabe, I was like, ah. Oh, I wish I could remember how to say this. Like she was like calling Gabe names and I loved it. It was like guilty Gabe. <laughs> oh, that's guilty Gabe call talking. She made me laugh out loud. All right. And the way she used Sophie, like the unbreakables, it's like, how did Sophie come out of this? Right. We want to know, like, you know, what was it the end of her? Did she go on? Did she forgive? Were they one big happy family at the end? That's what you want to find out. Right. So everybody, Go get this book. I loved it so much. Look at, it's just, it, it, it's beautiful. It has that nice, real, I love these soft covers so much. I mean, I, I am so thrilled that I got this. So thank you so much, Lisa. I, <laughs> I can't, I can't even explain to you how much I love this book and I've talked way too long. So go get the book, hit like if you enjoy my book reviews and um, subscribe. I, I don't know what my next book is going to be yet. I'm going to look at the hard at the New York Times list hardcover see what that came out this week and um, who knows maybe I'll do one of those but anyway it is Thursday have a great day great night I'm putting this out at night have a great night everyone have a very happy Friday and I will be back on the weekend